Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through a tutorial for the updated version of the Options Trading Journal. It has been a while since my last tutorial and this version comes with a number of exciting new features. This trading journal is designed for traders who focus purely on options trading, whether you track single leg strategies or multi leg strategies. I have recently added several useful upgrades including extra column for tracking sub strategies and trade group a calendar view that display total PL for each trading day, a ticker dashboard to analyze your performance for individual tickers, a new options calculator that calculates map profit, map loss, and break even points across 16 different strategies, and a trade group dashboard that lets you analyze trade group under one specific strategy. For example, if you trade a multi led strategy such as diagonal spread, you can assign a unique trade group name to all related trades. Later, you can simply select that trade group in the dashboard and analyze all those trades together. Now, let me guide you step by step on how to set out and use this journal. Before entering any trade data, head over to the start tab, input the starting month and year, enter the account starting capital, set your trading strategies. You can enter out to 25 strategy names in the strategy column. If English isn't your primary language, you can change the keywords under your translation column into your preferred language. These keywords are used throughout the trading journal. Next, go to the calculator tab. This section contains multiple calculators designed to help with position sizing and options calculation. The position sizing calculator helps you determine risk per trade based on your account net liquidation value and your chosen percentage risk per trade. The average exit price calculator is useful if you exit a trade in multiple points. You can enter out to three separate exit positions and prices to calculate the average. Below that, there are four options calculator for different strategies. They allow you to calculate max profit, max loss, and break even points. For example, in the single leg calculator, simply select the strategy Input the number of contract, the strike price, and the net premium per contract. In the vertical spread calculator, select the strategy. Input the number of contract, enter the lower strike and higher strike, and the net premium per contract. You can also calculate more complex strategies like iron condos, straddles, and strangles, and butterfly strikes using the calculators below. Now let's enter a trade into the journal. For a single leg trade, here's the process. First, enter the trade number, for example, trade number 45. Select the trade direction, select either long, short, or neutral. For example, if I want to short the market, I will select short, enter the stock ticker, for example, SPY, select the strategy name from the drop down list. For example, if I want to short the market, I will buy a put option. Fill in the sub strategy column. This is optional, but you can enter something like buy put. Add a unique trade name so you can track it later in the trade group dashboard. For example, September 25, SPY, long put. Enter the strike price, expiration date, and break even price. Under the open position section, input the stock price at entry, entry date, number of contract, and the net entry price and the commission. Remember, if you pay a debit, put a minus sign in front of the entry price. For example, if I buy a put option and pay $2.3 per contract, I will enter minus $2.3 to indicate an outflow of money. Under the risk management column, input the buying power, which is the margin blocked by your broker, the net profit, and the net loss. You can use the calculator here to get these values. Once the trade is closed, enter the stock price at exit, the exit date, number of contract, net exit price, and the commission. That's how you enter a single leg option trade. Now let's go through a multi leg strategy, such as a diagonal spread. Start with a trade number, select the trade direction, for example, long if it's a bullish diagonal, enter the ticker symbol, for example, Apple, select the strategy name from the drop down list, record each leg separately, for example, one entry under sub strategy as buy call, another entry as sell call for the short leg. If you roll the short call, you can enter roll sell call under the sub strategy. Under the trade group column, assign a unique trade group name such as September 25th, Apple, 
diagonal spread. You have to make sure that every single leg of this diagonal spread contain the same track group name so that you can track it later under the dashboard. Enter the remaining details such as strike price, aspiration, entry detail, and the risk management. The formulas in the light green cells will automatically calculate the PL, return on investment percentage, PL per day, cumulative PL, win or loss status, account balance after each trade percentage gain or loss and the account drawdown. If you deposit or withdraw money from your account, you can record it here too. Under the number column, input a dash sign so that it won't be counted as a trade. Enter the date in the entry column. Enter the deposit or withdrawal amount in the respective column. Use a minus sign if you withdraw money from your account. The calendar view allows you to see your total PL on each trading day. Select the date range from the drop down menu on the top. The profit will display in green, losses will be displayed in red. In the monthly report, select the month you want to analyze from the drop down list. You will see the win rate, account return percentage, net profit and loss, return on investment percentage, and profit factor for the selected month. The charts below will show the equity curve, account drawdown, PL by strategy, PL by each ticker symbol, and ROI percentage by each strategy. On the right, you will be able to see a table showing all the trades taken on the selected month. In the strategy dashboard, select a strategy name from the drawdown list to view the statistic such as total PL, average win and loss, largest win and loss, and the win rate of the selected strategy. The charts on the right will show PL by each ticker and the total PL by sub strategy. In the ticker dashboard, select a ticker from the drop down list to view all trades related to it. It will show the summary of the selected ticker, such as total PL, win rate, number of long, short, or neutral trade. The table below will show all the trades detail that are associated with the selected ticker. The charts on the right will show total PL by each strategy when you trade the selected ticker symbol. If you want to do a more detailed analysis, for example, if I want to know what is the total PL of trading Amazon using calendar break, I can go to the strategy, click on the filter icon and select only calendar spread. So now it will show me the total PL when I use calendar spread to trade Amazon stock. In the trade group dashboard, analyze trade group together under a specific trade group. For example, selecting February 23 Google diagonal spread will display all trades related to that spread. It makes you easier to analyze the trades that involve multiple legs. In the strategy statistic tab, it will show the monthly PL of each strategy and highlight the best and worst performing strategy. At the top, select the date range and the table below will show the monthly PL of each strategy. The chart on the top will show the monthly performance in terms of PL for each strategy, let you know which strategy is performing well over the month. The trading dashboard provides a complete overview of your trading activity. Under the account summary section, it will show the balance, total PL, account return percentage, return on investment percentage, and average profit per day. Under the account statistic, it will show important metrics such as average win and loss, largest win and loss, maximum consecutive wins and loss, maximum drawdown, the number of long, short, and neutral trade. The donut charts on the right will show the breakdown of long, short, and neutral trade, as well as the percentage of your win trade and lose trade. Under here, there is a monthly trade statistic table that shows the PL for each month, return on investment percentage, winning trade, losing trade, as well as break even trade. If you want to view the trade statistic in the year 2024, just simply select the date range from the drop down list and it will show the figure accordingly. The charts on the right, which are monthly performance in terms of PL, monthly performance in terms of return on investment, winning trade, and losing trade charts will update according to the debt range you have selected. Beside that, there is a performance graph that shows the equity curve, account drawdown, cumulative PL, as well as performance by ticker and performance by strategy to let you know 
which strategy is bringing you the most profit and which strategy may need some improvement. As a conclusion, using a trading journal is one of the most effective ways to improve as a trader. It allows you to analyze trade, identify strengths and weaknesses and make better decisions over time. Personally, I have been using a trading journal since the beginning of my trading journey. It has helped me spot weaknesses, refine strategies and steadily improve my overall performance. If you are serious about becoming a better trader in trading options, I highly recommend using this options trading journal. Thanks for watching until the end. Do check the link in the description or comment section below to learn more about this journal. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it with others and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.